Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It's fight week. Joe Joyce, Carlos to come, squaring off 24th of July in the United Kingdom. One of the few rays of light in the heavyweight division in all of July. It really is rather threadbare. So this is the most high profile fight of the month, almost by default, because Fury Wilder 3 was going to take up a lot of the oxygen, suck up a lot of the attention. But with that pushback, it left a, a rather light sort of schedule, with this being the, um, the event that sort of tops the the pops I guess in terms of the month but even this fight itself while Carlos de Calm has tried to talk a big game in the lead up to this fight and it's being pitched as a really tough and hard test for Joe Joyce ultimately though this is one of these resume builders to an extent for Joe Joyce Joyce is the prospect who is 12 and 0 and I know for some people with a guy with Joyce who turned pro late and he's now 35 they don't like to hear that he's a prospect but based on what he's done how many fights that he's had you know he still is at the back end of that sort of stage of his career heading into the war uh, towards the contender phase for those bigger fights because at this point he hasn't had them he has been going through the motions of that sort of end phase sort of prospect phase we He's had fights against the likes of uh, Bryant Jennings. You've had Mikhail Wallach, Alexander Ustinov, Berman Stavern. Uh, most of those guys at the point that Joyce fought them were faded. And Daniel Dubois was a somewhat unproven prospect, but that is the biggest win of his career. And he looked good in that one. And surprisingly, this is his first fight since beating Daniel Dubois in November 2020. So it's been a long time between drinks. So what is it, about eight months or so, nine months. So good to see him back. And in Carlos to come, we've got a guy who's 40 years old, a former title challenger, but a guy who has been on the slide to some degree in recent years that Joe Joyce should be able to go in against and get a win here. But he will have to be smart and he's going to have to have some good tactics because Carlos Takam is one of these guys that is, you know, pretty hard out for any heavyweight. He is a guy, I was thinking about this um, during the past week or so, he's kind of like Derek Chisora, but without the Chisora profile, without the Chisora mouth, where he's fought guys at a certain level, he's come up short every single time. But once or twice, he was maybe regarded as unlucky. Some people thought that he um, maybe did enough to get a win against Joseph Parker. Uh, against Anthony Joshua, that fight was stopped in the 10th round on cuts. And Carlos de Cam was still coming forward, still throwing punches, but the ref didn't like what he saw. Some people were pretty bitter and twisted about that. But ultimately, though, Carlos de Cam has been one of these guys who's fought tough. He's durable. He's a hard out for anyone. But like Chisora, he's effectively come up short at the highest level. So Carlos Takam, a record of 39-5-1. and one. And those losses have come against the likes of Derek Chisora, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, and there is others as well. Alexander Povetkin knocked him out back in, what was it, 2014. Earlier in his career, he also had a loss when he was uh, coming up. But he is a tough, durable fighter. And it's not going to be an easy fight for Joe Joyce. I think this is one of these fights kind of like a Christian hammer for a lot of heavyweights. We've seen hammer in the likes of um, Tony Yoka, Luis Ortiz. He can make it tough. He can make it difficult. He can actually make you look not so good. And we saw at times um, in that fight against uh, Joseph Parker, uh, some of the other fights as well, even Anthony Joshua. Some people thought that Dakar was having um, success and was doing some things to make it tricky, awkward and difficult. And it could be the same here. And as I said in a recent video on Patreon, I'm expecting Carlos Dakar to go in there and not necessarily have sustained success against Joyce. But I think with some of the way that he fights and he can sometimes, as he did in that Joshua fight, just sort of 
hang off and sort of be at range and because there's a height disparity he's able to sort of slip and duck under shots and uh, use movement and just make it more difficult for the taller man although you know he wasn't really winning rounds or many rounds in that Joshua fight so it may end up being a little bit the same because I'm not sure that I see Carlos to come just barreling forward you know just full bore the whole time in this one although if he is going to win, being the much shorter man, he's listed at 6'1", he is going to have to try to get to the inside, work to body and head, and try to break down and take out Joe Joyce, or at least, you know, hurt him, win rounds, to try get a decision. But ultimately, I think, for Joyce, he will be smart here. I think we're going to see some of what we saw in the Daniel Dubois fight, mixed in with other things we've seen earlier in his career, where there will be some movement. He's the much taller man by about five inches. He's got a um, reach advantage of a couple of inches. But um, bearing in mind Carlos Takam, even though he's 6'1", he's got an 80-inch reach. So, you know, that reach difference is not actually as big as you might think. So Joyce will have to be careful with that. But I could see Joe Joyce you know, using move, movement, utilizing it like he did against Daniel Dubois, just to, to make it tough and awkward and just be um, smart in there and winning rounds off the back of the jab, making Carlos to come, try to make some of the action, try to catch him on the way in. I think Joe Joyce will use volume as well in this fight, you know, offense as a form of defense. But I do think it could have the, the optics at least where it doesn't necessarily sparkle that people aren't walking away from this fight going wow that was just a fantastic fight i think carlos to come like a christian hammer as i mentioned has that potential to stink the place out a little bit with the sort of style and the way that his style with joyce's might mesh but if joyce can go in there against a guy who is tough and durable and get a stoppage against carlos to come i think that would be impressive because to come is hard to stop so, yeah, I mean, it's all here for Joyce to do in terms of, you know, the performance, because it could be easy for him to get a win here, but some people not be totally impressed with the performance, even though um, getting a decision win over Carlos to come is actually a feather in the cap. But Carlos to come at age 40 has been slowing down. So, yeah, I mean, it's sort of hard to, to know what to expect from to come because I don't have him in my top 20 anymore. He's a guy somewhere between top 20 and top 30 in my view at this point. He's been on the slide, but he did show signs of life against a guy like Jerry Forrest. So we know he can still fight at a certain level. He's got something in the tank. He has been talking it up. He says he's going to be um, coming here for the win. He's not just here to, to turn up and take a payday. And I guess some people will be thinking, okay, if Takam can get to the inside, he can maybe work away to the body. And we have seen Joyce in that Bryant Jennings fight was hurt to the body. So there could be a weakness there. But since then, Joyce has been obviously working on stuff like that in the gym, trying to condition his body to body punches, etc. Although, you know, any fighter... They can be hurt. I mean, the right punch lands, you can be hurt. And that was in the first round against Bryant Jennings. So he's not infallible and he has been stopped in the amateurs before. But he's a big, tough guy with a good engine. Similarly, Carlos to come too, a good engine. But I think the slightly younger man who's got the height, height and the reach, and we have seen him able to um, implement good tactics, box at range, use movement. Uh, I think he's got a high ring IQ, Joe Joyce. I think we will see him judiciously, you know, just using some of his um, ring IQ and talent and movement, as opposed to some of the earlier performances against out and out journeymen, where he just came forward and tried to bulldoze them. Not sure we're going to see that because that would play more into Carlos to calm sort of um, the way that he fights and his strategy. But Joe Joyce to win this fight, and I think probably by decision. If he gets a stoppage, I'll be impressed by that against a guy like Carlos to come. Not many have stopped him legitimately. Is Carlos to come there for the taking for a knockout or is this going to points or is to come going to upset the apple cart? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.